Hi everyone, I am Marlene Atlinesius from BS Criminology 3A and welcome to my blog. So today I will discuss my five reflections on lives and works of Rizal. Let us start first with the biographical sketches of Rizal. Rizal, our national hero, his life was indeed remarkable and historic. He lived his life a simple one. He is calm, loving, well-mannered, and educated person. He was a treasure to us Filipinos. His life experience was very inspirational. His sacrifice made us Filipinos savor our freedom. As the seventh child of ten, he is indeed lucky to have a responsible parent. Rizal is a very responsible son. Very gifted, very youthful, very artistic, very talented person. He is also independent and having almost a perfect life. What a very blessed person Rizal was. I seldom pause and ask myself, have I had any achievements in my life? Maybe none. I'm just a lazy student. I hate myself like that. Unlike Jose Rizal, he already had everything. When I was a kid, I was inspired to buy the results by his childhood. At the very young age, he knew how to read and write. His mother and aunt were his first teacher. And I can probably say that I'm, I, I'm a competent student before. And my mother too, also my first teacher. But time passed by, I struggled. Some says that when you grow up, your knowledge too will also grow. But I think that's, that knowledge was converted into problems. As we grow older, our problems will also grow. I had my ups and downs and endured pain, challenges. I may not be as dedicated as Jose Rizal, but I still have tried to become a better person, a better student, and a better daughter. One thing that I am blessed with is I have a good person behind me. My family and the people who welcomed me and dear me in their life. My life was nothing compared with Jose Rizal. I may not be as smart as him but I have my own choice of path in life. I won't expect any in myself but I believe in myself. We had a different choices. To what we want to be in life. My second discussion is about the pragmatic education of Rizal San. Rizal was indeed a genius. He is very fortunate to have that day. Rizal was indeed a genius. What a fortunate and blessed person. Very excellent, brilliant person. He is dedicated to his studies. He follows his interest and makes it as his motivation in life studious person always seeking for knowledge and he do possesses many skills he has this desire to learn more his eagerness to learn and explore new things his passion helps him become a better person and his journey was a truly inspiring one Rizal's limited allowance and his desire to learn more about eye ailment and frogs in retinal cases forced him to go in Heilenburg, Germany, where cost there in living is cheaper. Rizal studied medicine and continuing it abroad. It purely shows that Jose Rizal is an education seeker. The person who always grasps for information. He is thirsty for learning. We can say that he is indeed that genius. Although he has limited allowance, he still managed to save and effort with everything. He result is a very hardworking person. He is fortunate to continue his decision to study abroad especially on eye ailment for the reason he wanted to cure his mother because her mother has an eye defect 
other than that while studying on i elements he also want to study the cultures the laws and government of europe and other european countries he is very observant in everything and he's not just an ordinary person he keeps his actions simple for bigger missions my third discussion is the travel frustrations and disappointment of Zan. We all face frustrations and disappointment in life. Disappointment is the negative emotion you feel when an outcome doesn't match up your expectation. It is characterized by feelings of sadness, loss, anger, and it is very unavoidable in life. Result traveled from countries to countries. Rizal also faced frustrations and disappointments in his life. In Madrid, he was had his rivalry with Del Pilar. Rizal's presence in Madrid inevitably created jealousy between him and Del Pilar for the leadership of the reform mo movement in Madrid. Del Pilar lacked confidence in Rizal's leadership. Del Pilar lacked confidence in Rizal's Leadership. Rizal saw in Del, Pil Del Pilar's personal ambition, which should not have a place in the service for national cause. Rizal thought it was the time for action. Del Pilar's plan called for exerting pressure on him and to the Spanish government in Madrid to work closely with the people and made the decision to Rizal to return home. The journey of Rizal was a roller coaster ride. He has faced many problems and was able to face him by himself. I know no one likes problems, but you have to move through unavoidable situations sometimes. It is what it is. There are always positive and negative in life. Life is beautiful. You all want to be happy, but life is not always like butterflies, rainbows, and sunshine. My fourth discussion is about the exiled life of Jose Rizal. Rizal's writing and popularity feared the Spaniards. As such, they paid careful attention to the actions of Rizal. On July 14, 1892, Governor Eugenio Dispujol sent Rizal away in Cebu. This is done to foil any attempts of the friars to kidnap or assassinate him. Rizal was deported in the Pitan because of confiscated reading materials. He publishes books and articles in other countries and deported on several reasons. His sacrifice and struggle both brought him to harm himself. However, he doesn't think of that because he is helping the Filipinos. Reasons are the pamphlets, the pobres frailes found in his luggage, and Lucia's pillow's case were used as reason. In addition, Rizal's publication of El Filibusterismo, which dedicated to the memory of three traitors, who is the Gomborsa, Father Gomez, Borgos, and Zamora, who were condemned and executed by competent authority and who hails as martyrs because of that he was deported. He is called as the silent protector of Filipinos. His exiled life was, you know, it's lonely. He lived in far-flung area and he suffered there. Rizal maintained his optimism and positive outlook in his life. He believed that the innate intellect and ability of the Filipinos might use to advance the country. That thing made Rizal a very unique person and his dedication and fighting spirit in his life. My fifth discussion is about the justice and death of Rizal. Filipinos won't forget because the sacrifice of Jose Rizal that, would, that must be shared through generations. His sacrifice and struggles, he didn't die just for protecting himself or his family. He died for the nation. He saved the Filipino people 
and our nation. I still don't understand why Rizal managed to date several different women while defending our nation's freedom and maintaining his academic standing. He is indeed a legend. His contribution to our nation, his story shows values. He truly values his parents, his lovers, and our nation. We can learn from Jose Rizal's learnings. His books open the eyes of Filipinos to the oppressions of the Spaniards. Every time I think about him and all his talents, I felt proud inside of me. Well, I guess because I am Filipino, every inch of his life taught us lessons. Every one of his doings were dedicated to this family, for Filipinos and for the freedom of it. His love for his fellow people is nothing compared with his death, his sacrifices, paid off the freedom of the nation. Rizal was an extremely kind, sympathetic, and compassionate person. Through his famous books and novels, Nolimitang Hire and Filipusterismo, has addressed societal issues. He represents social justice and equality. He inspires us to love our race and that we should be proud of ourselves and this nation. Jose Rizal, quote, the youth is the hope of our future. We, the youth of this generation, will preserve and give justice to the sacrifice of Jose Rizal. We will lead, stand, and be proud of ourselves as it represents our nation. As a Filipino, we will tie bonds and we will be united as one. And that's all everyone. Thank you for listening.